What is good guys, we're here with Cory vs Gondor for SPL week 2. So this game doesn't matter anymore, Cory's team cannot win the week. So Cory brought some bulky teams like semi-stall, balanced type of team. But Mega Sabler and Volcarona, which is an interesting concept to keep Rockstar for Volcarona. And it probably has defog on either Zapdos or Landris, I assume on Zapdos. Uh, yeah, I think the Landris has to be defensive actually because he's quite weak to Zygarde otherwise. And on Gondor's side, oh, that I like Gondor's team, looks cool. Like just the colors look amazing and like the team itself also doesn't look bad at all. I assume it's a uh, Bantar, Mega Scizor. Assault Vest Bulu, I think it has to be Assault Vest because the Coco matchup otherwise is pretty bad. And then you either like Theme of Kelly or Zemo Heatran. I guess it could be Scarf. Yeah, it could be Scarf Kelly on Zemo Heatran. That makes sense to me. Even though Scarf Kelly is kind of bad at the moment with packs being like so common you can see uh we can see cory also has a packs um so how does gondra beat cory how can gondra break cory's team banter is gonna be able to put in some work and heatran heatran can potentially put in a lot of work especially if it's um z move fiery Trend could be really cool because madness storm obviously if the saber is max but i assume it's max but saber heatran cannot beat that when we won um usually it couldn't but if it has z madness storm then it can so it's gonna be nice to see if it has that. That would be interesting. So yeah, he just leads Sabler. He's just gonna protect. Actually, I don't know if I would protect it because uh, gonna let with Kelly. This could be a call mind or a sub call mind even. So I assume Cory is just gonna hard packs here. Because like, if the Kelly has common and taunt and the Pex does not burn the Kelly, that could potentially put in a uh, work for Gondra as well. So I don't. I don't think I would protect here. Actually, I think I would. Huh. I would. Either go for like Will O Wisp or I would harden to Toxapex. I would probably harden to Pex actually. Yeah, there's a sub. See, that's why I would not stay in. Okay, so yeah, I, I said I would either Wisp or Hard Pex. But if you Wisp, uh, you lose your priority. And if you have sub, that's bad. But the thing is, if it's sub CM, this is not too bad for Cory. Because if it's sub CM, that means it doesn't have Taunt. So I guess in that sense, it was not too, too bad for Cory. He got off his Mega and now he can just go for like Haze. He goes for T spikes. He's disrespecting the Keldeo. Okay, so he's uh, saying uh, to Gondra pretty much, go for CM again and going for Haze when you see him again. I'm not going for Haze when you are plus one. Okay, now he hazes. So he gets up a T spike, which is going to be amazing for him. Hits uh, half of Gondra's team. Yeah, I think Cory actually has a good matchup. Um, he just zapped those. Now he's going to go back and do his packs, obviously, and then he's going to haze again. And as long as he doesn't get burned, does he have Black Sludge? I don't remember. He does have Black Sludge. So there's going to be Gondra fishing for the burn, but. Haze has way more PP than... He skulls there trying to catch Gondra on a switch out. Uh, Haze has way more PP than Kelly has Calm Mind. But yeah, that's the burn cancelling out the Black Sludge, so that's nice for Gondra. So I assume you're gonna see the recover here from Cory. Yeah, the only thing that's... Uh, like, the Kelly can potentially beat the packs when we won if uh, Gondra can stall out recover PP from the Toxic packs. As uh, Skull and Secret Sword t together have uh, 30, 40 PP, so yeah, he could potentially stall out. So yeah, Cory just keeps going Zapdos, uh, because if the Kelly has no CM up, then Zapdos can take every hit, and now he's just gonna go back into his Toxa packs. Um, yeah, this is not the most interesting to watch. But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty late here, and I've, I'm not that tired, so I was like, nah, why not record this, let's get it. Um, yeah, since the game doesn't matter, I feel like... Cory just brought a team that he didn't want to preserve for next week. Like, he just brought a team that he didn't mind showing. That's that's my guess, at least. So, he's just going to haze again here because it's at plus two. Uh, you can see the haze has uh, 44 PP left. And Kormat only has 26. So, this is completely fine for Cory. He could uh, either haze again or he could go Zapdos here. Yeah, and haze is again. Even if Kelly doesn't call mine there, it's completely fine because, like, haze has so. Uh, much more PP than Call Mind has, so it's completely fine. Just spamming it for a while, and yeah, I feel me this time he's gonna go zap those. Mm -hmm. Oh, also on Cory's side, he gets him on a secret sword, so that gets rid of two secret sword PP. Yeah, like if Gondor stays in, he's just not getting anywhere. Like he's just gonna run out of PP for this Kelly eventually. And yeah, it's either Defog on. Scizor or Defog on Lando on Gondra's side. I would... It depends, it depends. If the Heatran has rocks, then it's Defog 
then the defog could be on lander, but if the lander has rocks, then the defog should be on the scissor. You should never have rocks and defog on lander. That's just that's not. I don't like that at all. Um, yeah, back into packs we go here. Kind of repetitive, kind of boring. I'm trying to see um, on Gondra's side which one would be the Z move user. I think it's uh, Heatran or Landorus. One of the two is the Z move user here. Um, because yeah, at first there was a slight chance that it was the Kalio. I mean, his team seems a bit slow, so maybe um, maybe one of the two is Scarf as well. Yeah, yeah. Either the turn or the land, one of them has to be Scarf. So yeah, Gondra has enough. Um, I could see Gondra going for rocks here because... Actually, no, there's a Sableye. What am I saying? I mean, Sableye is Spadef, so Sableye doesn't want to come in on an Earthquake. Because uh, Cory, Yeah, Cory should always go Zapdos here, I think. Or his own Lando. His own Lando or Zapdos. His own Lando is the safest. Because um, that covers even a potential Continental Crush Landorus. And yeah, if you go Sableye here and you don't know the Lando set yet, that could be bad. If you, especially if you're Spadef Sableye. You could get blown away from like a like Lando SD Sabler here is definitely not the play. So yeah, it's either Zapdos or Landris, and I think Landris is actually a bit a bit better play for Cory. Uh, if Gondor reads this correct, he could potentially get up his rocks here. There's a Zapdos, so he does expect uh Ooh, there's the Stone Edge doing absolutely nothing. I mean, that was a fine play by Kari, but I would have gone into Landris personally. Um, he obviously didn't want Hazards to go up, which I understand the play. But just in case, this is Continental Crush, which would be odd, and I would not see it coming. Just for that case, I would have gone into Landris. Because it covers that better. Um, I assume that this is... Um, is this Continental Crush or Scarf Lando? I mean, I, th I, would, I would think that it's just Scarf Landris. Because he does have Scissor plus Bullet to deal with Zygarde, so the Landris could be offensive here. Like, either Scarf or Z-Move, but I'm thinking Scarf makes more sense. Uh, yeah, Cory has to switch out here um, into his own Landris, probably. So if I'm Gondra here... Yeah, I would probably go into Scissor here if I'm Gondra, predicting Cory's Landris. And then he can get the Mega up and he can defog the Toxic Spikes away. Because this is... What? Oh, it is It is Continental Crush. Okay, okay, okay. So he didn't want to waste his Continental Crush. That's why he Stone Edge first, in case Cory does not go Zapdos. And if he goes Zapdos, he still gets good damage off. So this Lando is... Really good in this matchup. Uh, I think Cory is forced to go into his own Lando here. So he expect Cory expected this to be choice. So yeah, now that we know that this is SD, Z move Lando probably. The Heatran has to be scarfed because the Kaldi was sub CM and Gondra's team is pretty slow otherwise. So there's a Landris. Does he go for Stone Edge? He just goes for Earthquake. I'm a bit disappointed by that. I feel like it was really obvious that Curry was not going to stay in there. And if he went for Stone Edge, yeah, he can then see. Um, like Stone Edge and O'Connor and Crush would have killed. Mm. Yeah, I don't think Stone Edge would actually do it KO if this land was defensive. It would probably do like 45-ish. It's just a head calc. But yeah, Cory is forced to go for um, for HPIs here. I would not go for rocks. I would not play around with a plus one land though. Um, yeah, if Gondra, Gondra can still beat Cory's land when we won here with Stone Edge and the Condor and the Crush. Um, the thing is, is it worth it? Because I'm actually gonna run a calc real quick if the Zapdos is defensive from that Stone Edge damage. Because if the Zapdos is defensive, that means that the Landris, there's the Crush, it's gonna do like 80% is my guess, or 75. Yes, that is le that did even less, that did nothing. So now he has the Stone Edge here. Um, does Cory need the Landris for anything? The only thing that he kinda needed the Landris for was for the Bantar. I assume it's Bantar. Um, so yeah, losing Landris, getting rid of Landris is really nice for Gondor. Banta can put in a lot of work whenever it comes in later in the game on like the Heatran or the uh, Zapdos. Stone Edge is going to be able to pretty much get a kill for Gondra as long as he's able to connect those. But yeah, the card that I wanted to run was uh, Zapdos versus Landris. I assume it's uh, obviously Jolly Landris, that's what you should run. No, no, not defensive, what am I saying? Um, 
Rock UMZ. So Stone Edge is that elemental jelly? That's jelly. Stone Edge does 50 to 59 to Zapdos. So that is defensive Zapdos for sure on Cory's side because Stone Edge did do um 55. So it's defensive land was Jimita Zapdos outspeeds it. And he that doesn't kill. Wow, that's crazy. That that does that must have been a roll or something. 67 with Condor Crush. I really thought that would kill. Mm. Let's say plus two, right? And then we go for Z move here, Condor Crush. Not crit Z. 66 to 78. And it's Protect Lando as well. That makes actually a lot of sense. Um, so it's Protect, HP Ice, Earthquake, and Stealth Rock Lando, I assume. So now the Heatran is in. He U-turned on the land, okay. Oh yeah, he showed that he's defoxes, or now he's gonna map more here. And this is unfortunately not the Z move set that I expected at first, which was uh Z map storm. So yeah, now Cory is uh, forced to spam recover here, obviously. Gonra can either fish for a spadef drop with off power. Yeah, I think he's just gonna spadef drop fish. He could also go hard into Tita, because if Tita gets poisoned, um that means it cannot get Willowis burned, obviously, right? Okay, so he's going for Magma, which I'm surprised by, because that doesn't do anything. As long as you don't crit him, Magma was not the play there, like... I feel like either Earth Power, fish for the Spadef drop, or go into Tita to pun uh, pressure this out, because then he obviously can't Wisp you. And uh, if, he goes, if he go Tita, I think then Cory would be forced to maybe sack his Landris, because he doesn't really have a switch in at all. And Landris is already low on health, so now he's going for the Spadef drop. I mean, he's also... Kind of st stalling our recover PP from the Sable, so I do understand Gondra's play. Yeah, like Toxabax is um, with T Spikes is super annoying. It, like kind of when I build my balance teams, like I just slap on Toxabax sometimes because I don't want to deal with opposing Toxic Spikes. And you can see for Gondra, Toxic Spikes are annoying because his Defog is Scissor, and if his Scissor Defogs on Toxic Spikes, it can get Scald burned. And Toxic Spikes also has more PP than Defog. So yeah, Gondra is going to U-turn here. And if Cory st oh he defox, he defox, okay. Yeah that makes that makes sense as well. Because um the reason why um that makes sense is uh Cory was not gonna go for Will Wisp there because he had to fear the heat turn coming out and like if he U-turned into heat turn on a Will Wisp, uh Cory would have been in a bad position so he could not afford to make that play. But T Spikes just go back up, so I thought that's why that's why I think Defog was a bit unnecessary risky. Just in case, he, like I know he was not gonna wisp there, but even if you defog, the toxic spikes are just gonna go back up. So it was like unnecessary risky, right? So yeah, Sable is how healthy is that full? It's at 88, so actually how much did Madness Storm do earlier? Sable might not be able to come out here, so yeah, Cory does pivot into his own Heatran. I think he's gonna now um go to Sable Eye. Why, why not? I thought he would pivot into Sable Eye, so they're gonna exchange off power as they both have um they both have HP investment at least, I would assume, because off power didn't do much. Why did it do so little? Also, the Stone Edge I wanted to calc if there was a roll earlier. Yeah, I think um, Cory's Landros is probably super bulky, because he has Zapdos to deal with other opposing defensive Lando. So yeah, Cory made the play now that I expected him to make the turn before, to go into Sableye and off power, because obviously you would not go for a fire move on a Heatran. I mean, yeah, pretty much this this Landris has to be like near max defense, um, which is why he was able to lift that continental crush into Stone Edge. Otherwise, the roll would have been way in Gondor's favor. So that the reason why he can afford to run it is because his Zapdos deals with other opposing defensive Landers, so he does not have to run more speed on his defensive Lando. Like usually, you want to outspeed other defensive Lando with your Landers, but in this, like I said, he has defensive Zapdos that either deals and defogs on opposing landers unless it's like smackdown but it's only used on offensive land and he can deal and if he has smackdown if the opponent has smackdown it's most likely z move and then he needs wants to bulk on his landers so that all makes sense so yeah, yeah gondor uh, slowly getting leftovers back on his uh, heat trend yeah he knows that he's never gonna go for will so i would u-turn here from gondor or does he defog again yeah u-turns the thing is Cory could have actually knocked off there because then he could have. If Gondor goes Heatran, he would get rid of the leftovers. Yeah, I would probably just off power just because. Oh, he missed. That sucks, that miss. Now, the reason why I would just off power is because 
even if Sableye comes out, you can still fish for the Spad Death Drop. So I feel like it's still a fine play. So yeah, he's just gonna defog a U-turn here. I mean, like I said earlier, not really a point in defog because T-Spikes has more PP and it just go back up anyway. He's getting his trend back. But yeah, the problem is his trend is running out of Magma Storm. So the way that um, Gondor has to win this game is with his Bantar, I think. Um, I don't see the Bulu breaking the Cory's team because of the Volcarona uh, and the Pex. So like, yeah, it could do a lot to packs with Warhammer, a lot to trend with Superpower, but if the Volcarona is a bulky Volcarona with Roost, which I would assume it's a bulky Volcarona with Roost, uh, potentially Quiver Dance, Fiery Dance, Giga Drain, something along those lines, because on a bulky team, um, Volcarona would just make sense, helps him with the Morwell matchup, yeah. So I think he has to off-power again here, Magma Storm is going low. And hope for a speed after. Ooh, Cory predicting off ball going Zapdos. That was a that was risky, but it was a hard play. Because it was pretty obvious that he couldn't really afford to risk the magma there. Um now Cory's Hmm. He could go into his Heatran here. No no he's going Sabla. Yeah, Sabla is always the play. I I thought for a second that his Sabla was lower, but his Sabla is at full. So Sabla is always the play here because when it's at full it can uh, switch in on Heatran. Okay, yes. Yeah, at first I thought he was um, gonna go um, Heatran here, try to pivot into Sableye, but since Sableye is at full, he can go hard to it and eat this up. So let's see if he gets a spit death drop. He didn't even go for Magma. Um, so maybe his Heatran is slow, which is why he took the off power so well. I'm still gonna have to run the Kalk, but I'm gonna do that in a while. In a few turns, because I don't want to miss... Ooh, fire play by Cory. Um, that covered the Magma Storm from Gondra, and that also covers the Scizor. So he's gonna, what does he go for? Oof, that was risky by Gondra, but he knew that he would most likely not go for Magma with a heat turn in the back. The thing is, eventually Gondra has to let his t get poisoned. So like, I don't think he can prevent that at all. So there it is. Um, so now he might, I would probably go for Crunch here if I'm Gondra, just because the pursuit is really obvious and Cory might stay in predicting the pursuit. And you want your t to be as healthy as possible. So Crunch is definitely the better play in my opinion. Um, just because it's, um, oh, he has Protect to see what he locks himself into, that's hard. We have, we saw that the other day from TDK, Protect on Heatran on Chansey and Alamomola to deal better with Banta. He sacks it anyway, and maybe Landros would have been a better play. So he does go Landros now, obviously Gondor has to switch. That Protect helped Cory out because, um, it actually makes a lot of sense. Protect Trend plus Toxic Spikes on packs, that's nasty. We've also, I think, seen Sub Trend before with Toxic Spikes pack. Um, yeah, he obviously doesn't want to stay in here because Banta puts in work. And we do see Cory Hart switches out into Pex. Pex can wall. I'm surprised that Gondra stayed in. Um, so that means he knows that Cory's Lando is probably super defensive and he would have been able to outspeed it with his speed investment that he has on Bantar. Um, how much does Lando hit if it's defensive? I have to run the calc real quick. Like, if it has no speed investment, because I assume he might actually be max max, does Banta have a chance? Does Banta outspeed it then? I don't want to say anything wrong, so I want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, it can outspeed it if you run element max speed. So he might be element max speed. Because he went for a Stone Edge so confident as if he outsped the Landris. Yeah, I guess the reason why he stayed in on the Landris is because um, if he switches out, the Landris gets more leftovers back and gets more healthy and he can potentially take a Stone Edge. So he's going for the Para here. There's the Madness Storm. And I assume Gondra is probably going to go for off power here, predicting the Roost. So I think Cory should discharge again. And this is kind of a 50-50 scenario. I think Cory should discharge again, predicting the off power. Uh, the Heatran is also out of Madma Storm if it wants to kill the Zap, because it only has one more. Obviously, Cory has to stay in since he's um, trapped by Madma Storm. He goes for Toxic, which is a completely fine mid ground. Um, that way, he doesn't have to waste his last Madma, and if the Zap just doesn't roost. Um, that's also fine for him. So yeah, if he, I didn't know if he had Toxic, obviously, but that works out really nice for Gondra, and he gets up rocks as the Zapdos dies. Oof, and now Cory cannot get rid of the rocks unless his last move on Lando is Defog. He showed Protect, Earthquake, and H... Did he show HP Ice? I don't remember what he showed on Lando's. If the last move on Lando is Defog as well, then he can still Defog. Um, yeah, I'm expecting Cory to just go for Recover here. So now Gondra actually has a shot, he, the Toxic was clutch on a Zapdos. I'm not really sure what happened exactly, like he should have just, 
I think Cory should have just um, yeah this is probably AV so like protecting there's a fine play there's no way this can be SD because if it's SD Coco uh, SD Bulu then his Coco matchup is super bad obviously this being burnt is nice for Gondor being toxic is nice for Gondor because he cannot get Willow burn. burned um, I assume he's gonna go into either uh, into packs here why, why would he stay in Oh, he's Spadef packs, right? And Spadef packs would get blown away. I mean, I guess I yeah, I get what he's doing now. Okay, yeah, that was a fine play. Now Terrain runs out, he can force out the Bulu. Yeah, yeah, I was confused there for a second, but Cory played this fine. Like he played like the last two, like those turns versus the Bulu, he played those fine. But I disagree with how he played that he threw his Zapdos away. Like he almost had this heater installed out of Magma Storms. So like I don't know why he didn't just use his Sable Light to start out the Heatran out of Magma Storms. If the Heatran got a Spadaf drop on the Sable Light, then it would have been a different story, but I don't think that happened. Um, I'm gonna go back after the game to see if I missed anything, but I'm pretty sure he did not get a Spadaf drop. So he's just gonna Volcarona now. Um, these usually don't carry these usually don't carry Stone Edge, it's like um Nature's Madness and Superpower in the last other slots. So yeah, Volcarona can go for Roost here. If it has that. It doesn't have leftovers, does it? It doesn't have leftovers. Okay, so maybe it's not Bull Corona then. I thought at first it would be Bull Corona, but it, is, it does have Roost, okay. So did we see... What would the item be then? It's probably still Ru uh, It's probably Zemo Bull Corona, yeah. I mean, it's the only mod on his team that makes sense to be the Zemo user, because I think those three mods are... Those three mods already revealed leftovers. This one had Black Slash, this one has Mega Stone. Um, obviously, he's gonna get some grassy terrain here. Um, is the Heatran on? No, Heatran has one Magma Storm left, so he still doesn't want to give the Heatran a Flash Fire boost. Now, it would not be the end of the world if Heatran gets um, a Flash Fire boost because he only has one PP left. But it would still be annoying. So he does U turn here. Does he go Tran or does he go Bulu? I think he goes Bulu actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, Tran getting knocked off which would be really bad for Gondra. Bulu getting knocked off is not that bad. Because Cory does not have anything that threatens the Bulu. The only thing that threatens the Bulu with his special attack is the Volcarona, and the Volcarona beats the Bulu anyway. So losing the Assault Vest doesn't matter to Gondra. Uh, I assume we're gonna see the Volcarona come out again. The Rocks help. Why would he. Okay, okay, that does nothing. Never mind, yeah. Okay, I I'm really surprised that Sableye is taking this so well. For s I really thought it would do more. Because it's Grassy Terrain boosted, and I think AV Bulu runs Element. And this is also Spadef to take on Tren, which is why I'm surprised that it does take those hits that well because it's Spadef. But it also takes uh, gets Grassy Terrain recovery. Um, so yeah, I have to say, like, I made that little mistake, um, obviously, of... I thought that staying in with Shabla versus Bulu was not the play, but it worked out completely fine for Kari. He was able to stall out the terrain, he was able to get health back. Oof. Why did he go hard into Tita? I don't understand that. Let me see. I mean, he probably wanted to get the Sandstorm up to get some chip damage on the Volk, and he predicted either a Roost or something else. I don't think he, he did not expect him to Buck Buzz there because he has a Heatran. So just, I expect him, I think he went for Toxic that turn. So that sucks that he got Parrot there if he went for Toxic. Uh, obviously, rocks are nice for Gondor in the sense that the Volk is always forced to Roost, but damn, that para sucked. And he gets Parrot again. If he Toxic there, then his para also sucked again. So now we will see if this Lando has Defog. It does have rocks. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Um, did he reveal the entire moveset on Tran? Oof, nice play there, roosting on the on the protect. Now, I'm expecting um, Gondor to maybe hard switch out because he doesn't want to U-turn. Then, actually, no, 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 U-turn is a fine play because I don't think Curry would go into Volcarona and take half. Because Volcarona, he has to take rocks, so he has to, wants to go packs instead. Uh, so in that sense, U-turn was fine. Like for a second, I thought, what if he gets flame body burned? But like Cory would never go into Volk to take rocks there. So yeah, Defogger was the Zapdos, and Sable is the other one, one that can keep rocks off. Yeah, I don't know. I still think that Cory misplayed this. He should not have let rocks go up. He, um, I'm gonna rewatch the turns after to see if I missed something. But Sable, I should have always come out and heat turn to prevent rocks. And he almost had the turn out of Madness Storm, so I really don't know what I'm missing here. And yeah, Sable, I can just go for a knockoff here. And yeah, now that the Banta is dead, Cory can um, still win this. 
Yeah, like Toxic Spikes were just super amazing for Curry in this game. Like that chip damage on Tar was super nice for him. Yeah, I mean that's that's kind of like I think Gondra had. He's just super weak to Toxic Spikes because it's only Defogger. Um, let's Toxic Spikes just set up Toxic Spikes again. But he's playing this well, as in he's not going letting his trend get knocked off, and he knows that uh, Curry doesn't want to wisp on a trend. I mean, yeah, Cory can will always now because even if the trend comes out, it only has one Magma Storm left, and he can just recover on the trend. And Sableye should be able to live a Magma Storm, uh, even a Flash Fire boosted one. But he does just go packs. He doesn't want to play mind games with the potential heat trend. Uh, Gonra does defog, which helps Cory's Volcarona. I mean, I get that he wants to get rid of the T Spike, but the T Spike is just gonna go back up now. Um, Gondra is gonna go into his or oh, into his Kalia. I mean, Kalia is not gonna be able to win this. The packs only wasted one recover so far. Like if he had other mons, oh yeah, that's also why. That's also earlier I said that um, Cory should maybe go into the packs on the Bulu. But that's another reason why Cory doesn't want to go packs on the Bulu because if he keeps all his uh, recover PP on the packs, then that's really nice versus the Kalio, right? And yeah, he's just hazing here because he has so many haze, he can afford to just waste some of them. Uh, since burn is nerfed, uh, burn being nerfed is really big in this matchup because. Uh, if Burn would still do 12% every turn, that the Pax would take more chip and would be forced to recover more often. And then the Kalyu could actually beat the Pax when we won if Burn wasn't nerfed. But yeah, Pax has just way too many PP between Haze and Toxic Spikes. Uh, even if Gondor spams Substitute, um, Cory has way more PP to give up. And I think Cory wins this. Yeah. Like, Gondor's main way of breaking was Banter, which is dead now. Kalyu is just not going to be able to put in work here. And yeah, I'm gonna look at the score of the series, but I think I have some I have some games from the series recorded. The lower tiers my man Ultra Balls will help me out with, so you can expect those the next days. I mean he's still he's in the back because he's super busy. He still has some weak one matches that I passed him. But yeah, if there was um I don't remember exactly who is on Kari's team. But if there's like all your games um that will have been played that I haven't uploaded, you can also expect those. I recorded about three other Two or three other Sun and Moon OU games earlier. And yeah, I sent Zomok his game that he played was Brofist. Um, I, I'm expecting him. Yeah, hopefully he will send me that later and I can upload that as well. I'm obviously going to put his channel in the description. Um, yeah, uh, there's not much to say here. Um, the Kaldio is eventually going to be run out of PP. I don't see Cory losing this. Scizor is kept in check by not only Pax, also Volcarona. Rocks being off is just amazing for Cory. Um, Heatran not having Magma Storms left means it cannot do anything with a Sableye um, because it only has like 5 off power, so even if it gets the death drops, it wouldn't be able to beat it. It's also paralyzed, which means Sableye outspeeds it. Sableye could also knock it off. So Sableye just beats the trend easily 1v1 at this point as well. And the Bulu is poisoned, and Bulu also gets walled by Volcarona unless it has Stone Edge. And especially with rocks up. After Kalyu goes down, um, I think Volcarona plus Sableye pretty much solos. Yeah, Volcarona plus Sableye solos after the Kalyu goes down. Yeah, for sure. Damn, I recorded this in like 1080p Super HD, so like, um, this is gonna take forever to upload. <laughs> Because my, my net is not the best, which it's a bit unfortunate. Like, I mean, I'm ha I was happy when I get when I got faster net, like about a year ago when I started uploading SPL. I got faster net before that. My net was super trash, and one upload for like a 30 minute video that took me like 10 hours to, to upload a 30 minute video. But now now it takes me about like uploading um, a 30 minute video takes me about 70 minutes or 80 minutes if it's in HD. Uh, in 1080p. If it's in only 720, then it takes maybe 50 minutes, 55 minutes. But it still takes longer than the game that I recorded takes, which is annoying. Like, I wish I had even faster net. But yeah, like, where I live, it's like kind of complicated to get fast net. And it was relatively expensive to, to get that as well. Like, there's, there's nothing to talk about in the, in the in the game itself. So I was just, so I was just tr explaining that. Um... Obviously, Cory is now gonna haze again. We can see the Kaldio has only a few PP left, and the Pax easily has like still enough recover. 
a lot of haze, a lot of toxic spikes. You can easily um, out PP spam the sub and the. Um, oh, nice play by Gondra catching the switch there, but he doesn't get the burn, so he just goes pack packs. Gondra wasting two skulls there. Let me see if I'm behind. I wasn't behind. Okay, I was just trying to see. If, like sometimes when I don't skip turns, I get like ten turns behind when they play fast. Um, yeah, back into packs. Cory goes here because he doesn't want to risk anything. Yeah, I think Cory could have played this a bit better, but the matchup was um, overall the matchup was in Cory's favor. The only way Gondrop could have won this is if he got like if he got Spadef drops on the sailor with his heat train early on, that would have helped him. And also if he um, would have if his banter like if there were no T spikes, his banter would have been able to put in more work. But T spikes plus protect heat train just was able to put in a lot of work for um, Cory wearing down that T tar. And also, um, Cory having his own heat turn in the back, and he was able to go into his own heat turn on the opposing heat turn, not only stalling out the Magma Storm PP, but also uh, weakening Gondra's heat turn with off power. Uh, so I feel, I feel like um, Cory had overall a better matchup. And I'm surprised that Gondra's gonna play this out. I mean, he has to go for the choke. And uh, I don't think, I don't think this is actually chokeable. Does he just haze here? Mm -hmm. Like, there's really not much to comment on. Cory should always win this game at this point. He has, um, a like, every Mon Gondra has, Cory has an answer for it. Unless this uh, Bulu has Stone Edge, but even then. I don't think it has Stone Edge. I think it would have gone for it. And even then, Cory could still scout for it. I'm still not sure about the item on the Volk, but it's probably um, Z move. Because it wasn't lefties, right? Yeah, he's gonna run out of skull soon. He was maybe scalding there trying to catch Cory on a switch out. But Haze was completely fine. He can even waste more Haze because he has so many Haze left. He can like, even waste like. He could easily waste like 8 Hazes here without having to worry about anything. And when he gets low, he can recover. Um, there's the Haze, there's the Scald. Like. <laughs> He still has a uh, good amount of recovers left, and now he can go into his. Um, hmm. Actually, letting Sableye attack that Scald, I disagree with that play. Because now Sableye um, doesn't want to come in on Heat and that. But I assume Gonro's just gonna off power here. The thing is. Yeah, yeah, Cory wants to sack his landers, which he can't afford to do. Yeah, I thought he wouldn't magma that because he only has one left, but it makes sense. The thing is, he could have. Um, Potentially even stayed in with the Toxic Packs because the Heatran is paralyzed, which means the Packs might have been able to beat it when we won. But yeah, now he only has 4 off power left. He cannot Toxic the Sabre because of um, Magic Bounce. And yeah, nice play by Cory there. Oof. Because even if Heatran stays in and gets a Flash Fire boost, um, yeah, Toxic Spikes is just gonna go back up here. Even if Heatran stayed in there and get a Flash Fire boost, it doesn't matter because it didn't have a Fire move left. And yeah, it was the correct play to sack the Landris, but if he kept his Sableye just healthy early and didn't switch it in on a Scald, then he didn't even have to do that and he could have preserved that as well. But yeah, just those three months uh, win the game for Cory. Anyway, and like I said, if the Kelly runs out of PP, Slash goes down, then just those two months win the game for Cory. As long as this is not Stone Age Bulu. And even if it is, it's also getting worn down by T-Spikes and stuff, it's super low. Grassy Terrain and Hornage, yes, can heal some health back, but nah, he's, this is like not winnable for Gondra. Yeah, kind of disappointed to see. I mean, not disappointed, but it's just not the most interesting game. <laughs> is there any other game going on at the moment? I'm pretty sure there's none. My man BTB is going to play later, so that's going to be cool to see. Uh, versus Sabella. And actually, there have not been, like, from the Shark series, the, my man BTB's on the Sharks, not that many games have been played. See, I did predict that correct. It's Fiery Dance, because that's what you usually run on Bulky Vol Corona. But since it um, didn't show leftovers, I wasn't sure if it was Bulky. So the last move uh, could be Giga Drain or uh, HP Ground on the Vol Corona. Mm, I'm thinking it's Giga Drain for, like, for longevity. I don't know. It doesn't. It could also be HP ground, yeah. But since he doesn't have lefties, yeah, I know he has roost, but like extra recovery from Giga Drain could be nice. Um, yeah, I'm 
There's no point in going for toxic spikes. I mean, there's a point because it hits the Keldeo. Yeah, there's a point because it hits the Keldeo. For a second, I thought the Keldeo was already status, but it's not. Everything else other than Keldeo is status. So yeah, I'm expecting uh, Cory to eventually go for T spike here again. As Gonra goes, I assume you turn into Keldeo, trying to get the Keldeo in before the T spikes go up. But yeah, there's just not much to comment. Okay, he goes in the Bulu. Um, he doesn't T spike for some reason. Now he's gonna go into Volcarona. As long as it doesn't have Edge, it's completely fine. He only just to get some health back. And yeah, he can just go for Fiery Dance here because he will get some recovery back. He goes for Quirrence. Um But I would switch out here if I'm gone or just because you don't want this to get toxic. I would just go into either Sable Eye or Pex. Doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, yeah. Cory, like, Cory didn't misplay in the sense that he kept the monster that he needed to win healthy and alive. So, like, he didn't necessarily, like, misplay that hard. But I still feel like he could have played the Zapdos different and yeah I'm gonna rewatch the turns after the game because I'm not 100% sure I don't remember it was early in the game where he um, went Zapdos on trend and I think he didn't have to make that play yeah Cory can just go into Pex here if he doesn't want to take any damage on his Sableye yeah exactly and yeah, Bullet Punch has a lot of PP, but like, what does it matter? You're not done doing any damage. You're forced to roost eventually because you're taking burn damage. You're not putting any offensive pressure on Cory. Um, he's switching out the packs, preserving PP, which makes sense. Now he can just go back to packs if he doesn't want to waste PP with his Volcarona. Quiver's up. Um, but yeah, he should just go back exactly to either packs or Sableye. So now that's switching around a bit, but it's obviously in Cory's favor. Like, Gondra can make the game longer for no reason, but he can... As long as Curry doesn't uh, throw, the game throw the game away, um, Curry, Gondra cannot win at all, as long as Curry doesn't misplay super hard. And obviously, um, if the T-Spike eventually stays up, because he has more Toxic Spikes than this has Defog, and then eventually Keldy will get poisoned, and even if Keldy doesn't get poisoned, it will run out of PP. So he switches out into Volk, they're not wanting to waste more PP with his packs because he has to um, he has to keep in mind like how many PP he can waste with his packs. If he wastes too many PP, then the Keldeo could be annoying for him. So yeah, Cory can just knock off. He like knock off has so many PP he can afford to waste some of those and it gets some chip on whatever comes out. So yeah, that's completely nice. Completely fine. I don't know why I said nice. <laughs> but his Volk is getting chipped a bit. Back into either Sableye or packs. Doesn't really matter. Um, I would go Pax here because the Volk is getting chipped a little bit, but I guess that's fine. Even that doesn't matter. You can eventually just roost. I mean, it's not like Gondra can really get the Bulo in on anything because it's poison and it's super low. So he, if he switches in the Bulo, it might just die. So it doesn't matter if the Volk is getting chipped. And also, Scissor will eventually run out of U turns. So yeah. This game been over. Um, pretty much after Bantar went down, Bulu was not also not able to put him work. Yeah, after Bantar went down and Bulu revealed, uh, I, it I assume it's not Stonish because he would have gone for it by now. And then after the Heaton was out of Magma Storm, then those three conditions, yeah, that the game was pretty much over after that. Uh, also, the potential roll on the Lando here that I guess sucked for Gondra. Um, that Lando could have put him work as well, yeah. Like, I think Cory was max defense. If he not, if it was not max defense, maybe he had like 20 speed investment. But he was near max defense if he wasn't max defense. He was super bulky. So he uh, keeps going Volcarona. It says only has 11 U turns left. Back into Pax or Sableye on the Tran. Also, when the Tran runs out of Toxics, then he can just set up with Volcarona and win as well. Oh, yeah, Giga Tran with Vol Volcarona would obviously help versus Keldeo. I, I didn't talk about that yet. I assume uh, Cory is going to switch into Sableye exactly because he doesn't want to waste PP on his packs because um, PP management is important so he doesn't lose to the Keldeo. Already talked about it. If Gondra defogs the T Spike away and Keldeo sets up and packs wastes too many PP, then he can potentially lose to Keldeo. It's unlikely, but there's a slight chance. So that's why he's playing the way he is playing. Completely agree with how he's playing at the moment. Earlier, I think there was only one misplay. I will rewatch later, like I said. I would just wish that this game would end soon because 
My file gets too big. This uploading is gonna take forever. This upload. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This background music is cool. I might just change. Actually, no. I'm gonna keep the song. I usually like to change up the songs when the video is longer. Like I know I don't do it that often. The reason I don't change the songs often is because when I ch um. I should probably make a playlist or something. Yeah, yeah. Now Kelly gets poisoned and loses leftover, so the game is gonna end a bit faster. Um, Corey's just gonna go Pex here. Uh, now he can either click uh, Toxic Spikes or he could click Scald. As uh, Gondor's gonna roost here, he could also go to Volcarona because then he can roost up. Yeah, I thought Corey would uh, gonna roost there. That would have been uh, Corey's opportunity to heal his Volcarona, which is why I understand why he went to it. So now back to Pax slash Sableye. Yeah, I would go Pax first and then Sableye. Completely fine play if you go Pax first. Um, what was I trying to say? I feel like I forget something. Yeah, yeah, okay. So when I like, I just have one song playing in the background the, most of the time when I'm recording, but sometimes um, I render the songs in afterwards, which is uh, takes forever because my computer is garbage. So like if I render like a 50 minute video, probably takes like two hours that's how bad my computer is so i usually only have one song that i play in the back if i make a cool playlist oh a nice nice play by cory there it was unnecessary i think but nice play um in case just in case gonna run for toxic there i feel like that was unnecessary as, fl as fl yeah i mean even if volk got toxic cory pretty much wins with um save labels Toxiplex alone, so Vulcan Toxic is not the end of the world for him, but it's still a slight misplay, so I would not have risked that. Like, it worked out, yeah, and he looks like a Dawn, but I still would not have risked it. So yeah, back to Volt, now that he's healthy again, um, he can easily switch in again and scissor so he turns. Obviously, also I was pretty much forced to roost there, because it was super low. Now, back to Pax of Sableye here. I mean, what pretty much Corey tells his opponent by making that play is, um, he stayed in with Volk on Heatron once, so Gondor might eventually go for Toxic, expect him to stay in again. And if he then goes to Sable or Pax, then it works out for Cory. So Cory can just go for Recover here, he can also go for a knockoff, it doesn't matter too much. I would probably go, just go for Recover to have this healthy, but it doesn't matter at all. Back into Pax here on the either Roost, U-turn or Defog. Into Volk, okay. Whatever. Whatever fits, whatever he wants to do, it doesn't matter. Damn, this is hitting the 200 turn mark soon. Like, if the week wasn't over, then I would understand why Gondra would still play. But Gondra's team already won the week, so I'm not sure why he's um, why he's trying to win, uh, like play this out because he can't win this unless Cory like misplays super hard. That Cory didn't necessarily misplay. Like, if you're watching this Cory, you played fine. I just would have played it a bit different myself. Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to criticize Cory. He played this fine. I'm just gonna rewatch at the end to see if there was a slight misplay or not. And yeah, the defensive lander was definitely clutch to take on the opposing uh, continental crush landers. Okay, Gondor is gonna forfeit and save us some time. <laughs> nice. So now we can rewatch real quick. Um, I just want to see. There was like one scenario. Was Heatran versus? Um... So you guys can see, Madness Storm doesn't do too much, and he can just recover it up. And he also doesn't get the death drop, right? So I'm just confused. Ah, nice play going Tran here. They exchange off ball. Okay, I was gonna run the Kalk if they're both. I think they both have at least HP investment. Off ball again. He should recover, right? Okay, I guess he didn't want to waste too many save but recover. Maybe that's why he switches up to some trend later on. Oh yeah, there he dodged one, which sucks. Now he only has three left. So like, and he still has ten recover, and Tren only has three magnus. So I don't understand what or which where, where which turn did he go zap? It's like see that that's nothing off power. Um, let's just recover it off, and now he goes Zapdos, which I don't think he had to do that at all. 
I mean, actually, that was good. That was a good play. That was an off power. That was fire. And then, okay, never mind. Then he goes back to save. Yeah, okay, that, that was that was played fire. Never mind. But there was some turn where he went. Oh, that protect was clutch to get more damage off on this. And now he goes Landris, I think. And then goes back to Pex. Yeah, at first I thought. Yeah, I was a bit surprised that Gondor stayed in there. But I guess he was confident that he could outspeed Curry's, uh, Curry's Lando. But Curry just pivoted into his own Pex. Was able to easily eat up that stone at minus one. And yeah, here he goes Zapdos, which I think he should have. Oh, he go. Never mind on the off power again. I keep trying to criticize, but he makes God plays. But yeah, now I think he stays in on the Magma Storm. Yeah, yeah, he stays in now. And yeah, I think he should have just gone to Sableye here. Oh no, okay, Sableye was not at full. Why, why was Sableye not at full? Okay, so I understand this play. Sableye was not at full, so he couldn't afford to switch it in. But why was Sableye not at full? So yeah, he pretty much loses a Zapdos and Rocks go up, which was a bit annoying for Cory. The thing is, why was your Sableye not at full? You should have always you should have always healed your Sableye. Where did it where did it take damage? Oh yeah, he here took damage and then he didn't recover. I mean I understand I understand why because No, I don't understand actually. Because Okay, like you wanna Pretty much you wanna um Preserve for cover PP, which is understandable, but you mainly need he Sableye to switch into Heatran, right? And Heatran was already running low on off power on a Madness Storm, so I think it would have been okay to waste another recover there. Um, yeah, that's like the only thing that I would have done different. Like, I would have kept my Sableye at full, I could, then you can always switch into Heatran, because then you would not have lost, then you would not have lost his Zapdos. And yeah, here versus the, um, versus the Bulu, he was able to stall out the, with the Sableye. Um, they also made a, they made, I made a slight mistake there because I thought that was a misplay, but it was a completely fine play. Um, not going Pax, preserving Pax PP to um, not make CM Keldeo a threat because then you have obviously more PP and you can easily stall out the Keldeo with like haste, T-Spag and everything. And you, um, preserve recover PP which is important, especially recover PP is important that you don't waste them. And yeah, that was played pretty well besides... I think he could have afforded to recover with Sableye because Heatran was running pretty low on, on off power and on Madness Storm already and he didn't really need to switch with Sableye into anything else because yeah like he had Volk for Bulu as well but yeah Cory had matchup and played it well um, his defensive lander was super clutch protect with T-Spikes was clutch I think I'm repeating myself at this point thank you guys for watching if you watch the entire thing props to you uh, let me pause real quick and see which team the guys are on yeah, we can see it's now 7-1 and one for... I think it's 7-2 and two now that Cory won. Riders vs. Runa. So yeah, I guess you can see the game didn't matter. I already uploaded the TDK Sidumas game. You guys can expect... Um, I don't know if Jinji Hai is still going to play. If this, if it doesn't matter, I assume they're going to play tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going to... Um, I recorded this game. I, re I think I missed this game, which was unfortunate because it was a cool game. But yeah, I recorded this game earlier, so my man Ultra Bolt is going to bring it the next days to you. Also expect still some um, week one games from the lower tiers especially. Shouts to Ultra Balls for helping me out with that. Thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day and peace out. Hope you guys still enjoyed be besides the, the fatter team. But even like for some people I think this is interesting because you get to learn how to play versus fatter teams. And also if you like like fatter teams yourself, semi stall type of builds, then you get potentially new ideas for your teams which can be cool, right? So that's not too too bad in that sense. And peace out, yeah.